Women don't like the image of computer science. Women don't like feeling like, you know, they're a woman in computer science. Nationally, we've seen the rates of women's participation fall, and that's very scary. In school at Stanford, they do a reasonable job, but I was still the only girl in a couple of my classes. We're not talking classes of 20, we're talking classes of 120. I think this is actually really a Rosie the Riveter moment, and that is that women are the great untapped bench. If you just look at the numbers, and they're super simple, let's say that women are 60% of undergraduates, they're 20% of computer science majors. Imagine a hypothetical computer science department with 100 students each year. At 20%, women are 20 of those, men are 80 of those. If we simply took women to their appropriate proportion of undergraduates, which is 60%, for every 40 men, there would be 60 women. For those 80 men, there would be 120 women. That would be 200 students, not 100. So if women were just represented proportionally, we would double the number of software engineers this nation is making every year. And that would be timely because the number of jobs is tripling. Tracy Chow, and I am a software engineer at Pinterest. My name is Siobhan Albert, and I work at Microsoft. I'm Jocelyn Goldfein, and I'm a director of engineering at Facebook. We're building a product for people to share the things that will inspire them and hopefully get them out and doing things. I was terrified to take the introductory computer science class. At least known by some as um, a weeder class, so it was a little bit more difficult. The expectation was, if you're studying computer science, you must have used this before. And there were some guys in the class who had just been programming all their lives, and I had not even touched a computer until 1998. I thought I was failing that class the entire way through. I spent a lot of time thinking that you know, I just wasn't qualified for this. I hadn't been coding since I was 12. And my classmates, several of them had. There's some very good statistics, some done here at Stanford, that show that when women don't succeed at first, they blame themselves, and men blame the course or the test. So that a woman who gets a B plus thinks she's doing horribly, and a man who gets a B plus thinks they're doing fine. It's a very creative field and it enables you to do so many different things. And I think making all the choices that make you happy every day is probably the thing that'll get you closest to eventually recognizing your full potential. They can affect the world very positively. They can build products that are used by millions of people. And it's actually really dramatically changing the way the world functions. You can have an idea or a concept and you yourself can build it and make it a reality. Like it really is about making something that you're proud of and making something that you know you wanted to make and that was hard to make and that you did make. And I think that was kind of my proudest moment because that was the first time I can really look back and be like, you know, I did that.